Hi, today I want to talk about the ESP32 and an heart rate monitor solution I recently saw on the Worldlog channel. And it uses the AD8232 chip from analog devices and came with a module and I also order some electrodes to work with the monitor. But I think the whole module is based on a open source design from SparkFun. So I think this one I ordered from AliExpress is just a clone from the SparkFun module. And first we can have a look at the wiring of the ECG module and it uses 3.3 volt. So this fits to our ESP. P32 with also 3.3 voltage on all outputs and GPIOs. So we can easily use this module. And we first tie up the ground to the ground connection, then the 3.3 volt. And we have an output pin I today connect with the GPIO pin 34. And we have also three other pins, the low minus and low low plus output and this monitors the connection of the electrodes and we have also an shutdown input so we can switch the module to a power shutdown mode and according to the data sheet we have a current consumption from typical 100 nano ampere. And then we have also to connect the electrodes, but I'm no cardiologist, so please ask your medical advisor for any real application to do the connection of the electrodes. So we have three wires, the wire from the left arm electrode, the right arm electrode, and also a right leg electrode. And sure we can not only use this for a human body, we can also use this for maybe your pets or animals. So let's have a look at the Arduino code. It's just a small code. And we can start with a setup function. We just initialize the serial output and the loop function. Just read the GPIO pin 34 and it's an ADC driven GPIO. So we can use the analog read function to collect the output data from the AD8232 chip. And then I call a frequency detection function to monitor all the readed data. And we can also, we can calculate the heartbeats per minute. But this is just a homebrew function. So don't really trust the beats per minute calculation. And we can have a look at the frequency detection function. We I do some average data collection and and if we above the one half of the average data, then this is an indication for the heartbeat pulse and we can start a timer with the millis function and calculate the period between two heartbeat pulses. So that's it with the code. Now let's flash our firmware to our ESP32 and upload the Arduino sketch and compile all the needed libraries. So now we're connecting to our ESP32 and uploading and we are ready. So now I start the serial plotter so we can see the graphical output of our small sketch. And I have to connect the electrodes to my body. And after we connect the electrodes, we can see the graphical output of the, the sketch. And here we see the readed data and also the average function in red and also the one point fifth of the average in green and we can also see in orange the calculated beats per minute 
and we see that the orange graphs goes from one pulse to the next pulse but not really in all time sometimes we miss some pulses so this is just a homebrew function and don't really do some medical information with this homebrew function so now disconnect the electrodes and that's it for today so what we've seen here is the first step how to analyze the data via UART and put it to a graph of the Arduino plotter. But we can also use maybe our oscilloscope to monitor the data or we can also store the data maybe in the flash memory, the internal flash memory or if we want to read more data then we can also use an external flash memory and store maybe 24 hours of the hard pulses. And surely we can also send the data to a cloud service in the internet or our own private server in our private Wi-Fi network. Or also an option is to use the ESP32 and Bluetooth. So thanks for watching today. I hope you find this useful or learn something and enjoy also the video. You can find the link for the source code in the description. I wish you a nice day. Thanks for watching. See you next time and bye bye.